we're going to Erewhon today. I've heard a lot about it. Friends have recommended it. It's like super trendy, almost Whole Foods on track. Um, but we're going to go see what it's all about because you don't know unless you go. I'm expecting that sticker shop, um, but I'm also excited to see all the fun things in there. So, come back. I honestly don't know what to expect when I walk in, so let's just see. The first thing we encounter is the coffee bar or the drinks bar, I should say. People are waiting for their coffee. And I think we're going to start from the back and make our way back to the front. So let's go check this out over here. Ooh, the chocolate section because there's chocolate bars and stuff to entice you. Um, some keto, carob, some brands that I've seen, some that I haven't. Oh, and Trevani, my friend had talked to me about it before. She was a big fan. So that is here. Let's keep taking a look. And you know what? I think we should do comparison of prices because how do you know, right? Those are perfect bars. I've bought those plenty of times before and core bars. I get that quite often. So I know the prices here. They're a little bit more here, but that is to be expected even with their sale price. And there's a whole hemp nutrition cabinet here. Check that out. All right, let's keep going. And look at the, just the displays are quite pretty. Ooh, and look at these meat sticks. I've tried one of those before and I need to back up the wall of meat here. All sorts of jerky lining the wall. Just pretty. This is all curated very pretty. And look at this seafood section, the seafood and the meat section. Everything is easy to see standing up. It's also supposed to be really good quality and well sourced. And Dave's Killer Bread is one of our favorites. $7.69, actually a little cheaper than Sprouts, but not cheaper than Costco, but not that different. So that's good. Turning the corner and check out these raw crackers, different flavors. These are kind of fun. I haven't seen ones like this, so I might grab one later. Let's see. We've got sauces galore. Look at this wall of sauces. I haven't heard of a lot of these. I have heard of late July. I've tried that before and enjoyed it, but the rest of it, some of it is new, some of it is not. Let's keep going. I am, thank you so much. Okay, here's some more, a lot of different kinds of drinks. Ooh, I like these, I've gotten this before. That's at a similar price, it's not outrageous. Yeah, and all your different sparkling waters, regular waters, all of that. That's cheaper than our hotel, the $8 at our hotel. Okay. And I haven't seen this other places, but I've seen um, coupons for it. Anyway, let's keep moving. There's the yogurt. Look at this. The Once Upon a Farm, I like those too for the kids. If you haven't checked that out, check that out too. I'm all for it. Love those too. Okay. I have gotten those. That sprouts is a lot cheaper. Yep. Okay, it's the same one. Some different. Maybe these are bone box. Sorry. Oh, this is pretty. Sorry. Excuse me. Total toes coming through. Pumpkin lentil soup. Organic mighty green soup. These are all right up my alley. I love it. And I like that everything's like an environmentally friendly. It's all in glass jars. I love it. The only thing I don't like is the price. It's definitely pretty loud in here with all the clinking and the coffee and all that. But here are all of the drinks section another part and didn't know there were so many of these harmless harvest coconut waters i've only had the original but there's so many different kinds here that's kind of cool 
all the different coconut waters and moving on to the teas. And I love me my kombucha. Who's with me? Comment if you love the kombucha. There's tons of different kinds. Some of the ones that are more well known. And what is this? Apparently it's bitters with benefits. Moving on to the smoothies and pressed juices. This is what I was kind of looking for because I do want to try one, but there are so many choices. I don't know which one to pick. I'm going to have to do a little bit more looking and tons and tons of different mixes that I haven't seen before. I was looking forward to this hot food section. Look how beautiful all of this looks. It is breakfast time, so it looks amazing. There's even a membership. So if you are a member of Erewhon, you get discounts. Look at the salad and deli section. Everything looks so delicious. This is some of the prepackaged stuff. Kale, white bean, avocado salad. All the signs are super cute in the handwritten esque. Oh, but those prices are not cute. Let's keep looking. Broccolini. What is this buffalo broccoli? Mm, all right. Yeah, there's all these salad options. This is what I ended up getting, but I will show you more later. But you can pick from all these different salads or these packaged items. These are nice to be able to try a bunch of different things in smaller portions. Now the packaged stuff or the handmade stuff is I think what I would come for here. Also look at this really cool pre-packaged nut section, nuts of all kinds. I wonder if they had a bulk bin before. Okay, let me show you what I got. Green goddess smoothie because you gotta feed the goddess in you, right? And it's green, you gotta be healthy. Pad Thai, vegan Pad Thai kelp noodles. This one was $7.14 for this little thing. And this one is kale, white beans, and avocado, because you gotta get avocado best, $5.51. So, not cheap, but I'm hoping that it's absolutely delicious, and I am looking forward to this. Let's just open it right now. I'm also sad that, look at my bag, it doesn't even stay. <laughs> it's so sad. But it's okay, whatever, I'm getting over it. If I can open it, and I hope I don't spread it all over my white shirt. Yeah, hold on. Oh, oh, I should show you the price tag on this too. Thirteen fifty, so not cheap. Um, but it has coconut water, coconut. Anyway, you can read. I finally got it. Take off the tab first. That's my advice to you. Because that looks pretty darn green and bluish. It's from the spirulina. Chunky. Not bad. Not like my favorite thing ever to drink, but I'm gonna say it's good for me. I like healthy things, so cheers to that. So we're doing a taste test of the stuff that we got at Erewhon. And this is the first one, kale with white bean salad with avocado. Look at that. Here's vegan pad thai kelp noodles. And if you want to see what's all in the ingredients, that's there. Look at these salmon patties. That looks pretty. And look at this cool candied walnuts, like can. If you want the ingredients, they're all in there. It's totally fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go first with salmon. So good, so good. I mean, is it super, super different than salmon I've had before? No, but it's supposed to be really, really well sourced. It's supposed to be good. Um, so here we go. Ah, I'm making a mess. But here's the pad thai, vegan pad thai. I guess usually pad thai has fish sauce, and I'm actually not quite sure what goes into pad thai sauce. There's definitely no shrimp. I usually get my pad thai with shrimp. But other than that, I don't know if it's that different. So. Mm. It's good. 
I just don't know if I'd say it's Pad Thai. It's Thai flavors, but it's not like the sweet um, Pad Thai sauce that I would normally think of. It's delicious. And the noodles are obviously different because they're not the rice noodles. These are kelp noodles. Quite delicious. Just wouldn't say Pad Thai if I ate it. And then the salad, it's kind of a normal salad, you'd think, but big avocado pieces. I am totally making a mess. I need to clean this up, but. Look at that big old bean. It's the big old bean. Great. And it's been a while since I bought it, but not wilty. It's kale, so I think it stands up better. Really good. Really, really good. The dressing is not super overly dressed because I actually don't use that much dressing on a normal basis, but the crunchy from the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds, they're so good. Everything just makes me happy. Would I do this every day? I would not pay, what is this, $6 for this tiny salad or seven dollars for this thing but you know what we're giving it a try and everything's really really good if i had all the money in the world would i come here maybe maybe would you and don't forget the candied walnuts doesn't seem like anything special but it feels special when they come in a cool little mason jar okay not overly sweet which i like <clears throat> as i choke <laughs> <laughs> you know when it, the little nut flakes go down the wrong anyway um it's just maple syrup and cinnamon and walnuts can i try to make that at home probably but doesn't this just look really pretty i don't know what the price was oh well <laughs> it is what it is it's just fun so it's just a fun fun experience it was just super pretty and everything was very well curated in where things were placed and they have normal things that you can buy in a normal store as well as brands that I haven't seen before so I was excited to try some of the different ones anyway go check it out